We know that organization is key when building your menus, so Toast has created templates for you to fill out, which will be used by our onboarding team as a foundation for your menus. The bar menu template provides you with multiple tabs to fill out for your various alcohol menus. In this video, we'll go over how to fill out each tab so it has all the information needed for your menus to be built in Toast. After your menu has been uploaded, you'll make all further changes to your menu directly on the Toast platform. Let's get started with the template. The bar menu template is an Excel file that you can open with any spreadsheet software. When you open the template, you'll see multiple tabs at the bottom of the sheet. Let's start with the Read Me First tab. First, make a copy of the file by selecting File, Make a Copy, and then add your restaurant name and location name to the file as shown on screen. Then use the Read Me First page to input your information. Add your restaurant name, your name, and your email address to the page. Now let's open the Happy Hour tab. If your bar menu has happy hour pricing, use this page to input the hours you plan to serve drinks at happy hour pricing. If your bar doesn't offer happy hour prices, you can leave this page blank. If your bar offers more than one happy hour in a day, you can use the Time Range 2 section to input an additional happy hour. The remaining tabs will be where you add all of your various drink options. These are broken up into alcohol types. If you'd like to start working on a specific menu, use the navigation bar on the right of the screen to skip to sections that correspond to the tabs on your document. The liquor section is broken up into different liquor types. There will be examples of spirits under each liquor type for reference. Feel free to remove them, adjust them, or add as many options as you'd like. Then at the bottom of this list, add any modifiers you'd like to add specific to each liquor type. Each liquor type gives you multiple pricing options. You can input prices for single pours, double pours, or the happy hour price for a single pour. You can customize these pour sizes if you'd like, or only offer a single price for each option. If your bar doesn't offer happy hour pricing, you can leave these columns blank. In the Liquor Modifiers tab, you'll see a list of common modifiers used for liquor orders, such as dry, neat, and salt. Add to or remove all modifiers you'd like to be generally available. If you'd like to charge more for any modifiers, input the amount under Upcharge. Feel free to add any additional rows to the list or anywhere else in the document as needed. The Cocktail section includes a list of common cocktails that you can reference when adding the ones your bar offers. Feel free to add, remove, or adjust any that are on this list. After adding the standard price of your cocktails, you can add a happy hour price. If your bar doesn't offer a happy hour, you can leave this column blank. If any cocktails have options for liquor substitutions, you can add these and their prices to each liquor choice column. If you don't offer any liquor substitutions, you can leave these blank. The beer tab is broken down into separate columns for draft beers, bottled beers, and canned beers. When adding your draft beer options, you can enter prices for all sizes you offer. The template will have columns for 8 ounce, 16 ounce, and 24 ounce sizes, but feel free to customize the pour sizes. You can then add happy hour prices for each pour size if applicable. Leave these blank if your bar doesn't offer happy hour prices. Then, enter the bottled and canned beers you offer and their prices. The Wine tab is organized by wine type, such as red, white, rosé, and champagne. In each section, list the different options you offer under Item Name. The POS Name column can be used if you'd like to use a shortened version of the name for the button on the POS. Your guests will not see any shortened POS names you add, these will only be seen by your staff when using Toast devices. For each option, add the price for a glass or a bottle. If your bar has happy hours, you can add each option's happy hour price. If it doesn't, you can leave these sections blank. The last tab will be for any non-alcoholic beverages your bar offers. Add these options under the item name. 
You can then assign your non-alcoholic options to separate groups if you'd like to further organize these items. Then enter the price for each option. If the item is taxed differently than the rest of your liquor menu, please indicate in this column. Once you've double-checked that your bar menu template is ready, it's time to share it with your onboarding consultant so it can be used to build your menu in the Toast platform. If you're using Google Sheets, you can send it using the Share button on the top right of the spreadsheet. If you're using another program, email a zipped Excel file to your onboarding consultant. To learn more about Toast menus, visit us at central.toasttab.com.